When I woke up this morning, I found a note someone had left for me. It was on plain white paper, and it read, Hello, Angel. You don't know me, but I know you. My friends and I have been watching you for some time, and we're rather impressed with the way you handle yourself. We could use someone like you, if you're interested in maybe helping show the Kateni whose planet this really is. Mind you, it's not going to be easy. But if you think you're up to it, there's a place in the Resistance waiting for you. Unfortunately, we can't just break into the refugee camp and induct you there. You've got to come to us. Your first goal is to get out of the camp itself without alerting the peacekeepers. If you can do that, further instructions will be waiting for you outside. Good luck, Angel. You're going to need it. At the bottom of the note was a symbol for the resistance. It could be a trap, but I can't just sit around here and rot. Not anymore. I should make a point of checking my journal after talking to people. Looking at the map frequently is also a good idea, as it'll let me know where I am and where I should be going. I'd better wait until the lights go down before trying to break out. There'll be fewer peacekeepers around, and it'll be easier to find a way out. Maybe I can find someone else in the camp who knows a way out. It might be worth taking a chance on. At the very least, we'll see what the Catania are really up to. Place is a zoo with humans on the inside. And the animals running the show? That's as good a way as any to describe Kateni and peacekeepers. This place is running short on food, on medical supplies. It's a disgrace. Sounds like a great place to be living. Keep talking like that and at that volume and you'll find out what the unpleasant way out of here is. Keep it down or the peacekeepers will make an example of you. Have you heard anything about what it's like outside? All I know is that I don't know what's out there, whether it's more aliens, the resistance, or whatever. I do know that in here stinks, though. Good night. Angel, so good to see you again. I'm not sure. I got a note from a stranger, and I'm trying to figure out what to do about it. It's not a note from a young man, is it? It's a note that's supposedly from the Resistance, Miriam. I don't know if I should trust it. I don't know if you should trust a note, but you certainly can't trust the Kateni or any of those dreadful peacekeepers who work for them. Hmm. I wouldn't think it would be some sort of trap, though. They have no need for that sort of thing these days. If they want to arrest you, they take you away. Just like that. It's from some character claiming to be the Resistance. Supposedly, they want me to break out of here and join up with them. Well, that changes things, my dear. If this is real, and I suspect it is. You should ask yourself if you're ready to do that sort of thing. It's dangerous out there. Much more dangerous than it is in the camp. But I've seen you, Angel. You're not happy here. You're angry at the Kateni and you want to fight back. This might be your chance. I need a way out, Miriam. That could be difficult, Angel. The Kateni have sealed this place up tight. Then again, they don't know everything, do they? That's very interesting. Do you know anyone who knows more about this place than the Kateni do? Oh, you definitely want to talk to Seamus. He used to be the janitor here, and he still keeps the place running, more or less. He knows everything there is to know about this place. 
Mind you, you didn't hear that from me, dearie. And you'd know, of course, because you know people on the outside, don't you? I've seen you with things like fresh fruit that you couldn't possibly have gotten here. You're an observant one. Yes, I do know people on the outside. I trade with them on occasion, but not often. I also have a brother living with the scavengers under the city. His name is Lawrence, and I haven't seen him in six months. But you must have escaped and seen him, right? You have to know how to get out of here. I can't tell you how to escape, Angel. The world comes to me. I don't go to it. But talk to Seamus if you want to leave and take this for him. He's not a greedy man, but he'll want something for his help. You'll be able to find him in the collaborator's wing this time of night. He claims they need more cleaning, if you can believe that. But you're going to stay here? I'm not going anywhere, Angel. This is my place. But if you decide it's your place to go, I want you to take this. Find my brother if you can and give him this. Something tells me you'll be seeing him soon. I should check my inventory now. Damn some bitch peacekeepers! What did they do to you? Knocked me down, they did. Knocked me down with those stun rods of theirs, then told me I'd broken in line for the soup kitchen. That I weren't getting no supper. <laughs> They're doing that more and more these days, throwing their weight around like it's a schoolyard. You should do something about things like that. Not as long as they're doing the Katini's dirty work for them, nope. And we have to take whatever they dish out. What do you want? Have you seen a man named Seamus tonight? Seamus? Haven't seen him since he was over by the packing supply store in the East Wing. Good. I need to talk to him. This place is driving me nuts. Well, everyone's got a sob story, sister. You keep yours to yourself and I'll keep mine. It might be a good time to look at the map. Maybe I can talk to him and learn a few things. Good evening, miss. It's a pleasant night, isn't it? Are you Seamus? That's the way it always is, isn't it? There's no manners anymore, no courtesy. Yes, I'm Seamus. Seamus Reardon, and you're, you're Miss Angel Sanchez, and you live out of the old bookstore with the Tolliver family, the Hernandez brothers, and nine or ten other folks. Am I right? That's amazing. How did you know? My dear Ms. Sanchez, I have to know an awful lot in my line of work. What is that line of work, you ask? Why, it's keeping this place going. If you were to rely on that lot over there in the movie theater or their big furry friends, the roof would have fallen down eight months ago. You can count on that. The Katani, at least, are smart enough to let me go about my business. It saves them trouble in the end. But you don't work for the peacekeepers, right? Let's just say there are things that I do the lads in the funny hats would disapprove of if they knew, so I take care not to tell them. I'm no friend of the Katani, though. You walk around this place like I have, Angel, and you'll get the sense that it can't go on like this for too much longer. There are too many people in too little space, and not enough food or medicine to go around. So why not fight back and do something about it? It has to be waiting. Trust me, lass. You're not going to want to see this place when certain folks get riled up. I'm sure it won't be pretty. The way to deal with things here, if you want them done, is fast and quiet. Things like Miriam smuggling? You know about that, do you? Well, let's just say that Miriam's an old and dear friend, and she's got her wits about her. She sent you to me, didn't she? No doubt she wants me to help you escape. Well, I can tell you something about that. Escaping is easy. Escaping the right way, so that the peacekeepers don't come looking for you and tear through a dozen of your neighbors, that's hard. Are you ready to take that risk?
Why isn't anyone doing anything more active than smuggling fruit? One thing, because there are a great many peacekeepers tucked away inside the old movie theater, it's their headquarters now, those gentlemen, and I use the term quite loosely, like nothing better than demonstrating to troublemakers the error of their ways. For another, they're armed, and we're not. For a third, there are a great many people here who'd get hurt in the fracas. For a fourth, well, uh, you get the idea. But there are still things going on like Miriam smuggling, right? You know about that, do you? Well, let's just say that Miriam's an old and dear friend, and she's got her wits about her. She sent you to me, didn't she? No doubt she wants me to help you escape. Well, I can tell you something about that. Escaping is easy. Escaping the right way, so that the peacekeepers don't come looking for you and tear through a dozen of your neighbors, that's hard. Are you ready to take that risk? You're right on the money. So can you help me, for Miriam's sake, if not mine? I might be able to help you. I won't ask for much in exchange, either. I get the sense that you're going to be more important in all this than I am before it's over. But I can't go giving away my help for free, either, else everyone and their brother will be asking me. And sooner or later, someone will make a slip. No, it has to be this way. Miriam gave me something for you. Will this do? A bottle of ammonia, is it? <laughs> Miriam's got a sense of humor. She's a smart woman, she is, and make no mistake about that. Let me give you something in return. A key. It fits a door down in the east wing, down toward the entrance they've boarded up. Use it, and you'll find yourself in the service corridor behind the shops. You'll be able to find your way out from there. Godspeed, Angel, and don't forget us in here when you're out in the world. Now all I have to do is go through that door, and I'm out of here.